it just, it never dawned on me that my husband could be deported. Maria's husband, Brujito, was deported in November of 2013. He had been working in this country for over a decade, and his wife and two children are U.S. citizens. We did everything together. We cooked together. We did the laundry together. So when you take a part of that team out, it just breaks up the family. My son needs him, my daughter needs him, and I need him. We're seeing families uh, uh, on a day-by-day -day basis, American families being torn apart um, by ICE agents and field offices that are not um, enforcing the law in a common sense way. More than 1,000 immigrants every day and nearly 400,000 immigrants every year are deported. That's hundreds of thousands of families being split up. It's time to end this injustice. You know, the Obama administration and the Congress have a shared responsibility to stop the bleeding of America's families, to stop, the, to stop tearing apart America's families. Not one more family should be punished because Congress is delaying doing its job. Congress's delay is no excuse. House Republicans are playing politics and have chosen not to take action on immigration reform. It could be months or even years before they pass a bill, and that could mean hundreds of thousands more families like Maria's are forced apart. President Obama can stop these deportations. Using his executive powers, he can choose not to deport people like Brujito, people who are part of American families, people who qualify for legislative immigration reform, Instead, since Obama has taken office, he has deported two million immigrants. Very soon, he will have deported more than any other president in history. I voted for Obama based on immigration reform. I voted for him because he said he was going to do something for us. And he hasn't. You know, and if anything, he's done worse than any other president for us. Help bring Maria's story and the stories of the millions like her to President Obama. As long as somebody gives me a voice and somebody gives me a chance, I'm going to keep fighting. Tell President Obama to stop deporting people like Brajito. Visit americasvoice.org slash two million to take action.